heart This old time Just put it all behind Remember you and I Would always find somewhere to hide When we were kids So we could see and hear the water run the river's gonna cry when you're gone What's up guys? I got a hat straight here. Anyway, it's that time of the year. You see I'm wearing a little jacket. Uh, as you can see in the beginning of this video, some a little montage of some some rain and some uh, leaves changing color. It's that time of the year. It's time to I'm not gonna say put the RV to bed, but it's time to winterize it. So uh, we're getting ready to have some uh, freezing temperatures coming up here pretty soon. So just go ahead and winterize it but just because i winterize it does not mean that we cannot use it uh maybe we'll get to take it out uh, we just won't use the plumbing of it we'll just make sure we'll go somewhere where uh we can use the bathroom facilities at the at the campground uh, but anyway the process i'm not going to show the whole process basically all you did was i you know empty the hot water tank uh uh, turned off or adjusted the valves on the bypass so the the water doesn't go or the antifreeze is not going into the into the hot water heater um, uh, use my little winterizing kit all it is is this little I don't know where to do with it oh, it's right here oh so I got stuck in here but anyway it's this it's a it's clear tube it's got like a little end on it uh, where my pump is at I have a, a, a valve on it that I can connect to and what I did was I got this uh, this little piece here from from Lowe's and I connect it to the uh, winterizing kit the the tube and then it goes into that valve it's just it just brings us to because they're both our female ends and you need this uh, or I did you may not need but I needed this male-to-male -male end to connect the two. Um, so anyway, just uh, basically hooked that up. Um, as I said, the hot water he heater is empty. The bypass is on. Turned on the pump. Got the tube well, back up. Put the tube inside the antifreeze thing um, and stuck it down in there. Turned on the pump. It pressurizes. Then all I do is I just go around to each line and open up uh one you know hot or cold first it doesn't matter open up one of those usually the hot will take the longest uh that first time because it's got to go, the the line's got to run all the way to the hot water heater which you know depends on where your hot water heater's at but anyway it runs all the way to the hot water heater and then it's got to come back so ours is from where the pump is to where the hot water heater is probably a good i don't know just eight feet across the rv but as far as the lines gotta go i don't know i don't know how long it's got but anyway it takes a little bit longer and then once you do that you know i started with the kitchen faucet then i went to the shower and then to the bathroom did the toilet and then don't forget to go outside and there's uh your outside shower make sure you want to do that but uh it's a really easy process i know a lot of people you know don't like to put the pink antifreeze in their in their lines it's it's a personal preference some will blow out the lines and then put the antifreeze in the p-traps um, and then in the toilet um, we don't drink the water from our from our rv and it's non-toxic anyway but and you should be sanitizing your lines but uh, we just personally don't drink from the 
from the lines so it doesn't bother us we've even when taking showers later in the year after we you know dewinterize or unwinterize it we've never no noticed anything uh once you you really clean out the lines really good um but you know we that's the way we choose to do it we're in north carolina and the local uh, rv dealership will only do it if they run the the antifreeze through the lines they won't just blow out the lines they will only guarantee it if they run the pink stuff through the lines so um it's not broken and not you know not going to try to fix it um i don't know some people are, are don't want to spend the money the extra money but i mean i went to AutoZone and got this and it was four dollars and fifty cents for a gallon it t took me took me less than two gallons but i went ahead and just poured the extra down into the into the drains uh you can go to walmart and get almost half the price uh maybe a little bit more than half the price but for you know five or ten bucks to to ensure that your rv is going to be safe and the plumbing is going to be good you know coming back around springtime it's a it's a cheap in, uh, insurance so uh, i'm not going to skip on it um and i haven't had a problem been uh, winterizing uh for the last eight years um not an issue doing it this way so that's the way we'll continue to do it uh your results may vary and your uh method may vary but i'm going i'm not going to show this video is not showing you how to do it or or it's not step by step by any means there's plenty of videos out there there's literature out there read your manual your manual will usually tell you how to do it um but yeah go do that Oh, another simple way to do it too is I know with our travel trailer, they even recommended just putting the antifreeze into the fresh water tank and doing it that way. And that is, we, we did do it that way. Now it did take more antifreeze to do it that way, but we did it that way. Um, and it, it worked fine. Um, that's another thing too, is your low point drain on your fresh water tank. You want to open those up and leave them open. Um, so any kind of moisture that builds up or freezes can will have a place to escape and drain. Um, same thing as the hot water heater. We have we don't have an anode rod on ours. Ours just has the plug. But when, what I do is I just pull out the the, the uh, plug and I just leave it on the inside. I don't leave it in there. So anything that may freeze or like that when the heats up during the day, the water will have a way of escape, and that way it's not refreezing. So. Um, the only other thing left to do is I'm going to go and dump what's a little bit in the tanks here. I, I probably don't need to. Um, got enough antifreeze down in there, but I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, go and dump the tanks. And I'm going to get some of those, uh, those uh, little damp rid uh, moisture uh, bucket things. And uh, we'll get, just get them from the Dollar Tree. They're a dollar a piece. If they have them, we'll get them. We'll get two or three of them and just leave them in the RV and... Come around springtime, they will definitely be uh, have water in them. But you may uh, may just try to do a better job this year and and maybe switch them out sooner uh, than later. So anyway, we'll talk to you soon and have a good one. Bye, guys.